Good day, good day, Marilla. Good day. Hello, everyone. I'm sure you heard this tagline before. Yes, it's true. It's one of the famous taglines for a beauty product that focuses on lightening your skin or having fair skin, just like the Caucasian or so-called white people. Hi, hello everyone. My name is Anyashi Anak Perempuan Prabagaran. I'm from Bukit Jalil Sports School. I'm playing netball and my position is wing attack. Today, I would like to do a book review for one of the famous literature short stories, Winter's Last Wish, written by Chris Jitta. Winter's Last Wish can be read in a well-known book called Spirit of the Caris. A selection of Malaysia short stories. This book consists of 251 pages and was published in Time Edition in 2004. Dear all, as we all know, white skin tone obsession not only prevails in India but also other parts of Asia like Thailand, Korea, China, and even Malaysia. The royalties and upper class had fairer skin tones due to less sunlight exposure. Whereas, people of the working class, like farmers, were dark due to long hours of working in field under the sun. Hence, white skin was considered rich and elegant. In India, the scenario further worsened during British colonial rule. It emphasized that white skin was superior the imprints of colonization have still not disappeared completely. My intention today is not to talk about perception of beauty or beauty products, but rather to share my thoughts through a book review. Victor's Last Wish is a story about a man named Vikramadas who is in Chris's identity. And Chris's identity also means a feeling on unhappiness and confusion caused by not being sure about what type of person you are or what the true purpose of your life is. Victor's Last Wish is a realistic fiction by Chris Dida, who describes in depth the pain and hardship endured by the main character, Vikramadas Gopal, who was an Indian immigrant to Malaysia. Vikramadas was known as Victor throughout this short story. He made great efforts to transform himself to like whites who he thought were the best. Anything and everything related to whites was beautiful to Vikramadas. The author had painted a vivid picture of the sufferings and challenges of Victor in his cause to attain a new identity well as an Englishman. But his efforts did not help him to be recognized by the white man as a part of them. He was rejected by Miss Cunningham and insulted by Miss Dagama because his skin was dark in color. He also thought that his failure to be promoted to junior accountant was due to his dark skin. Thus, Victor was so desperate to have his skin color changed. He was very disappointed for not getting what he had striven so hard to achieve. As a result, he lost his hope and direction in his life. Therefore, he indulged in heavy smoking, drinking, and gambling. At last, he became a thief to steal and pay his debt. In one stealing, he was caught red-handed together with his accomplices. He tried to escape, but unfortunately, in his escape, he fell into a tank of formic acid where his skin was turned white all over by the acid. His wish to change his skin into white was therefore realized, but ironically, he had lost his eyesight. The moral value that I learned from this story is, as long as children have been walking on earth, I imagine they have noticed and spoken about the differences they see 
around them. When I was growing up, I was taught not to see color and we are all the same. Loving yourself is the first step in being happy and now enabling me to achieve my full potential. Be who you are. Just embrace it. Well, that's all from me. I hope we will not stop reading because reading offers hope by exploring ideas, experience different times and places. Also, they can find characters in which readers can see themselves with whom they empathized. See you again next time. Bye!